We are in Australia. News has just been given that uh, I am hosting the Oscars. I've talked to him a couple of times today. I mean, the first one was more of like a rehash on fuck did you do yesterday? The public perception is that he didn't want to apologize, therefore he is homophobic. Do you regret, do you wish you had done something differently? Okay, let's just stop it right here. Because before people judge and go, Kevin Hart's a dickhead, he's an asshole, I want you to understand that there's a lot that you don't know. Do I think Kevin works himself too hard? No. I don't give a fuck if you're the highest grossing comedian in the world. Somebody's looking at you right now saying your time's gonna be up. When you come from where I've come from, you're written off to a certain degree. You're not supposed to make it. You know what? On the street, this may be my best one. Well, they're damn trying to say your last one was your best one. A lot of people ain't like that. Yeah, since you can tell he got money because he ain't as funny as he used to be. Yeah. I'm talking about hoes. Gotta learn from you, fuck-ups. Kevin was forced to complain about cheating on his wife, who was pregnant, by the way. <laughs> You publicly humiliated me. I just kept saying, how the fuck did you let that happen? If everything stops, then you survive. When you're truly fucked up. Shut up, bitch. There's some anger that you're holding on to. You're going to let it out. I can't. These are the moments where you realize that you're nowhere near where you need to be. This Kevin gonna act stupid for you for a while. So that road to becoming the, the billionaire with the, the mogul, it's a long road, man. And you can think you got it all together. Something stupid can happen that can take it all away like that. I'm talking about home.